Today I'm going to show you five fantastic Better Discord themes that are just really good, surprisingly. So to start off, you need to get Better Discord, and as always, Better Discord is against Discord's terms of service, aka you can get banned for using it. Themes are actually really safe, just don't screenshot your modified Discord client. That's it. If you want to screenshot Discord, turn off your themes, then screenshot it then you can send it somewhere. So to start off, you just need to click on download v1.1.1, then you need to open up the installer after it's been downloaded, then you will see license agreement of some sort, just click I accept, it doesn't matter, press next, then press next again, then you need to select the Discord version that you have, basically just select the one that you can select, then click install. If you don't see anything, then just reinstall Discord and then reopen up the installer and it should be good to go. Then once Discord restarts, you should notice a big pop-up in the middle of your screen. If you don't see it, go to your user settings and the main thing you want to look for is this better discord section if you do not have this section that means you did not install better discord correctly i would try using the repair if you can next up click on the themes button and we need to open our themes folder then it'll open up behind discord and this is where we actually input our themes so all you need to do to get a theme is just go to any one of the links in the description and click on download then it will download a theme.css file and if you click on this little drop up thing and click show in folder it'll take you to your downloads folder and all you need to do is just drag this theme file into the themes folder. So to start off for our first theme, we have Kube, if you enable it, then you need to press Control and R to restart Discord. This is just in case there's any unthemed assets that need a restart to actually show up. And this is how it looks. It's a very nice deep blue color scheme. And if you go to any server, this is generally how your day-to-day -day life will look. A lot of cool colors, everything's kind of organized really well. Just a lot of stuff has moved around and it looks great. Overall, using this theme isn't that bad. If you click on someone's name, you can see that banners look fantastic, and you can see their profile buttons look great. Same thing with animated banners. Moreover, if you click on someone's name, it shows up with the same thing. And for the GIFs and stickers and whatever Discord calls them, they're all pretty good. The only gripe I have found is that if you go on a long emoji name, it will show up really long and overlap. Other than that though, scaling in terms of zooming in and out looks fantastic, and if you go in the settings there is a modified settings menu that looks fantastic. The next theme we have is Lily Pichu, and if you enable it, once again, press Ctrl and R to restart Discord so everything applies properly, just a good practice to have. And when you do restart Discord, you will notice that a lot of things get cut off, but generally speaking it has a very nice pretty and pink aesthetic. If you click on someone's name, it shows this weird banner layout. Uh, not the best for animated banners, for example. It doesn't look too good, to be completely honest. But before this big banner thing, it looks really well with rolls and notes and stuff. Moreover, chatting is completely fine, and the GIF stickers and uh, emojis menu looks exactly the same, just recolored. And going through your friends list, same stuff. But the only gripe I have is that it's weird not going to the bottom left to go to my settings. It's on the bottom right. So I click on user settings. Same user settings menu, but that's completely fine. And that is the Lily Pichu theme. Next up, we have the materialistic theme. And once again, once you enable it, press Ctrl and R to restart Discord so it loads correctly. And now you have the materialistic theme. It is very, 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 very small. That's the one thing I could say. But you can resize by holding Ctrl and pressing the plus button or the minus button to scale it however you want. I want it to be at least slightly easy to see, so I'm going to leave it pretty zoomed in. Going into a server, you'll notice that it's basically like Discord. It looks a little weird, but if this is your aesthetic, you'd probably love it. If you click on someone's name, you'll notice that it has the normal Discord banner, just mostly a recolor in a lot of this, but you also have radial status. So if someone's on Do Not Disturb like me, their name will be in a red circle. If someone's online, it'll be in a green circle. The fanciest thing about this particular theme is the settings menu where it is a pop-out menu. It looks a little weird if you have to zoom in because the text is just so weird. But other than that, it's just a normal theme with a little bit of a recolor and a weird settings menu. Next up, we have Metro for Discord. Once again, always restart. It's a main thing you want to keep in mind. And when you load it, it looks pretty good. There are some weird things. On the right, you'll notice that it's just plain old banners. There are some weird coloring things. Moreover, if you go to messaging in general, emojis look kind of the same. It does hide some of the unnecessary buttons. Moreover, it's basically kind of the same. It's a little bit weird. And if you go into the settings, it, once again, it's a little bit different. It's not the best theme in my opinion, but it might be something that you like. And for the last theme, we have Load. Now, this one is my favorite. It looks so nice and so smooth and it has rounded corners and it's just got the whole shebang. Looks great. Main things you have are if you click on someone's profile, it's the same kind of look. Once again, everything's very round, which I absolutely love. 
Moreover, you still have the kind of bulky uh, text chat menu thing, but if you click on it, once again, everything's round. It's just a recolor. The main thing is definitely the chat and the text. Moreover, if you go into your settings, you have not a lot changed, but once again, it's still a very nice aesthetic for just normal browsing. There's nothing super crazy. It's laid out relatively well, except for it's not on the bottom left in terms of your settings, it's on the bottom right which I think is actually a lot better for user experience. And that wraps up the installation portion of the video. If it worked, like and subscribe. And if you want to support the channel even further, just turn off your ad blocker when you watch my videos. And if for some odd reason it didn't work out for you, feel free to leave a comment in the comment section or join my Discord and put your issue in the help channel and I will help you out as soon as I can. Now let's get on to the uninstall portion of the video. Now let's say all these little fancy themes are a little too crazy for you. Well, all you need to do is go back to your downloads folder, open up the Better Discord installer. It doesn't matter if you have multiples of them, just click I accept the license agreement, click next, then click on install Better Discord, then click on Discord PTB or whatever Discord you installed Better Discord to and click uninstall. And what it will do is whoop, computer magic stuff and bam, you're back to normal Discord. As you can tell, there's no theme, and if I go into my user settings, there is no better Discord section. And that's it, sweetheart. I'm gonna go see if I can eat a whole PlayStation 3 controller without choking. Have a fantastic night. Mwah.